Hello you lovely people. Hi to all the people in New Zealand uh, at the Sugary Tax um, Symposium. Uh, big up Gerard um, for reaching out and finding me. How you got me I don't know but I am more than proud to do a little message to start off this symposium. Okay look uh, I am here um, you guys look like you're really organised, your collateral looks great, it looks like you're really pulling it together. Um, you've got a whole bunch of people in the room that can make difference, you've got politicians there, apart from the one, or any politician from your government, which is a disgrace and disgusting, because their job is to listen to experts and listen to the public uh, and react and, and, and debate internally whether they should be making change. Now guys, look, uh, New Zealand, like Britain, has got some of the most obese children on the planet. It's disgusting. It's nuts, right? The world's changed in the last 40 years. So look, all the data, and you're going to find this out in the symposium, all the data's there to justify logically, scientifically and economically why you should have a sugary drinks tax, right? For us, it wasn't all sugar. It was sugary sweetened drinks. In New Zealand, that's 26% of all sugar kids get, right, is from sugary sweetened drinks. This is an industry that's come from nothing to being prolific. Of course they should be taxed. Of course they're, contribu uh, of course they're contradi uh, contributing to obesity, diet-related disease. Of course they are. We all know it. I spent a year and a half um, working with the British government to convince them and show them the data that they need a tax. Cameron didn't want it, the Conservatives didn't want it, uh, and I got it through. So I am here as hopefully hope, right? France is in, Portugal's in, Hungary's in, Ireland's in, uh, Britain, Mexico's in. This is the new norm, guys. Now, there's a little proviso. No one likes tax. Who doesn't, right? You know, uh, and even when I told my own organisation that we were going to spend two years dedicated to the curating a new tax, they must have thought I was mad, right? This is not regressive. It's progressive. This is not a tax that's negative. It's a tax for good. But there is a proviso. You have to make sure that the monies raised from this tax go to uh, elementary or primary schools in New Zealand for sport, for food education, right? To get kids understanding where food comes from and how it affects their body. Uh, and, and then you'll find that it polls really well. In Britain, this tax polled at 75%. Guys, politicians in the room, activists, come together. Come together, this is new money. This is new money for the children of New Zealand. Honestly, anyone that could debate this needs a slap. The science is there, the data's there, the measurement's there. So today is a beautiful day. Thank you, everyone in the room that's come together. I know you'd rather be doing different things, but you care about this. So well done, right? It looks like you're way more organized than we were, but we won, guys, we won, we got it through. We got it through, it's now ratified, it's now happening. And here's the genius. It was never about the sugary drinks tax. It's not just about that. That's one of hundreds of things we need to do environmentally to make our countries more, uh, less obesogenic for our children, right? Um, if you want to change health outcomes, we've got to change hundreds of things. But this one thing, it's not just new money. It's not about just lowering consumption of crap uh, and, and promoting more milk and more water, right? It's symbolic that government will step in when things go wrong, right? Uh, we can't spend 40 years learning like in tobacco. We can't. Um, but what I've seen in Britain within four months is a complete reformulation of not just sugar, but salt and fat in Britain. It's basically been, the sugary drinks tax has been a reformulation turbocharge. Guys, it's amazing. Have a great symposium. Um, and this is my little girl. Uh, my little girl, this is my wife here. It's our 17th uh, wedding anniversary today. Little River. Uh, having some milk. Don't even get me talking about breastfeeding because you know it's all connected. Um, but um, guys, lots of love. Uh, have a brilliant week and go and kick some ass from your government. The fact they're not there is a bloody disgrace. It's an embarrassment and they should not be entrusted with child health if they don't turn up to your event. God bless you. Go get it. New money. Kids hope. <laughs> it's all good.